Hello everyone. Welcome to another quote with the Iron Will Becker. And um this is a quote from a friend of mine. He is a, uh, a life coach out originally from the UK and currently lives in uh Germany with his wife and oh man, I want to say son, but I honestly don't remember. But he's a wife and kid. So the quote is asking for help doesn't make us weak by Will Aylward. Now, uh, I worked with I worked with Will for a little while, and um, when he brought when he uh, published his book, um, oh my goodness gracious, becoming unstuck, uh, I read it. So, one of the things I learned, and, and this is something I learned before I met Will, but this is something that I really um, struggled through. I mean, I really labored through this um, because of pride, because of my own pride and my own um, misunderstandings of what it means to be a man. And um, so ask for help. Go to someone you trust and that you have a good relationship with and ask for help. It, it, it might not be might be something that's a bit of a stretch but that you look up to so let me tell you let me tell you a story that um that i think illustrates this the the very best and this is a, a an indian or native american story about a brave and uh it was about two weeks or so uh before this brave's trial of manhood and his father was waiting to see what this young man was going to do. And he was um, paying attention in the village and watching his son and, and kind of letting his son, you know, kind of feel out those days and, and events that were going on as he um, drew closer to his trial. And, and in this in this community, in the distance, not too far, but there was a there was a, a cliff, and the men, the challenge was to climb that that mountain to the top. And this young man had been preparing himself and getting ready. And uh, the morning of his the morning of his tr the, for him to do this task to prove his manhood comes. And he, he gets up early, he starts climbing, starts climbing this cliff, scaling this mountain. And uh, he, gets, he gets up to the top and he is so tired. He has spent the majority of the day, this is kind of mid-afternoon now, and he is just tired. And uh, after he's done resting, he sits up and... And then he sees a rock with something underneath it. And uh, gets the rock and he looks at this paper and says, My dear son, I see that you have uh, chosen to climb the face of the, the, the cliff today. Um, know that true manhood comes with wisdom. If you would have asked you would have learned that there are stairs that are carved in the back of this mountain that you could have climbed up. Now, hurry along. Your sister and I are headed back down. We'll be able to get home just in time for dinner. So come along, my son. And this, this story came to me at a time when I was trying to understand what it meant to be a man. And it made a lot of sense to me. Is there are people with way more experience than I have. Very different life experience. A whole, from a whole width and breadth of places. And this is one of the reasons why I love to read leadership books. Why I love to read business-related books, biographies. 
Because in them, you learn about another person's experience and how you can take and apply that and then lead yourself to the best version of you to make personal improvements in who you are to kind of clip off those thorns so to speak my friends if you get value from this video please like and share it if you are looking to level up your leadership skills whether that's personal or professional um go to the website turning leafs leafs.com and there you'll find a calendarly link you can set an appointment we can meet together and see if i'm the person that can help you i may not be um but that's what i do at turning leaf solutions is i help you level up your leadership Guys, thanks for joining me today for another quote. Hope you guys go out and make it a great day. You guys go out and make it a great week. And I will talk to you next time. Take care.